I'm eating uh, one of these uh, chopped. <laughs> no, I'm, hey, trust me, it's plenty of calories. Um, I'm eating one of these uh, market side chopped kits. I showed this um, in a, I did a whole video of just salads. And so you all have seen this out. If you watch that video for at the end of January, um, I made this so many times and I'm still buying it. Uh, but I just figured, um, you know, this is a what I ate video. So Tonight for dinner, I'm going to be having this uh, market side Walmart Caesar bacon salad. This is the chop salad kit. Kevin and I did a review on this, and I'm just going to finish the whole thing off uh, tonight because I haven't had a lot to eat. I've had some to eat, of course, but I haven't had a ton. So I'm just going to eat the whole thing for dinner tonight. So Kevin and I reviewed this uh, Trader Joe's. It's the Southwestern chop salad. There will be a video of the salad all by itself. So if you're curious what's in it, everything. I, uh, this is the bowl that I made it in, but I'm gonna have be having this for lunch and for dinner because it's like a 600 calorie salad. So um, I'm gonna eat a little bit for lunch, but I'm gonna eat the majority for dinner. So uh, that 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 is uh, both meals, lunch and dinner for today. Today for lunch, I'm having this Trader Joe's barbecue and black peppered black pepper Toscano chopped salad. Uh, Kevin and I did a review of this, so there's a review of the salad where we talked about it and gave you our thoughts about it on the channel so hopefully you check that out but that is what I'm having for lunch today so tonight for dinner I'm gonna be having this Taylor Farms salad this is a uh, Taylor Farms organic salad this is a honey citrus chopped kit and we reviewed this and I'm just gonna eat the rest of it for dinner it's it's um, if you watch the review you'll have heard me say it it's just a very very plain salad but uh, that's okay that's that's what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. Kevin and I reviewed this Trader Joe's broccoli and kale slaw. Uh, so if you're interested, we did a video of it. Hopefully you didn't miss it. Uh, but this is going to be my lunch and dinner. So I'm um, actually put most of it in this bowl and I will cover it up. And there's really nothing in here. There's not croutons or anything that can get uh, mushy in the refrigerator. So um, I don't mind to keep this in the refrigerator at all. Uh, but what I'm going to eat right now for lunch is this bowl. So I'm going to eat this one, put that one up for dinner, but uh, that is today. Today for lunch, I'm going to be eating this uh, Taylor Farms. This is an organic lemon parmesan chopped kit. Uh, Kevin and I did a review of this, and so there's a standalone video of it. Uh, but it is a, it's a very low calorie salad. There's not a lot going on with it. So I will eat this whole bowl for lunch. It's only like... Um, 310 calories for the whole thing. So that'll be my lunch today. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to be having some of these John Saul's Food chicken fajitas. I like the seasoning on the chicken fajitas. So they have like rotisserie chicken and uh, they had another kind of chicken too. Uh, some kind of maybe a chicken breast or something like that. But I like the seasoning on these. So I just, uh, I heat these up in the microwave. You heat them for like one and a half to two minutes on a plate. You cover them. And then um, I put it with a uh, just some shredded lettuce and some Bold House Farms uh, classic ranch dressing. So when I get this heated up, I'll show you how it looks. So before I put it in the microwave, I just want to tell you this, uh, this is two, this is everything that came in the bag. It's two and a half servings. So for me, it's one serving. Literally this, this will feed me, but this meat is only 275 calories. So yes, you're eating the whole bag, but this is 275 calories. And then the lettuce, it's uh, 10 calories uh, for a cup and a half, I won't use much more than that because this is a lot more lettuce than how it looks. And then the Bolt House Farms is only uh, 50 calories for two tablespoons. So this is really, really hot, but it's you see how easy uh, you don't even need a, a knife to cut through this. 
and it's already really re well seasoned, uh, so you don't have to add any uh, salt or pepper or anything like that to it. That's why I like to get the fajita, uh, but I'll just uh, cut it like this, and then I'll layer, um, I'll layer my lettuce. Normally, I eat it on a plate, but it, honestly, it's going to be easier to to do it, uh, to eat it in a bowl. Uh, this, this plate is hot though. Uh, this is so funny. This lettuce, every time I open a bag of this lettuce from Walmart, I think, gosh, that tastes like, I mean, that, um, that smells like, uh, Taco Bell. And I don't even eat Taco Bell, uh, very often at all. Like, I couldn't tell you how long it's been since I've had Taco Bell. But this lettuce smells like Taco Bell lettuce. <laughs> so it's probably, it's, it probably is exactly what they use. But you can see um, this, this ball you get, I'm trying not to make too much noise. Um, this ball you get uh, so much to eat and it's not, um, high in calorie at all. Now, I do not measure this out, but I also I don't feel like I use a lot of it either. So, uh, that whole bowl will be my dinner tonight. Today, I'm going to be eating one of these uh, chicken Caesar salads. I've shown you this before. It is the market side. It has crisp romaine, white chicken meat, Parmesan cheese with Caesar dressing. It's 300 calories. Um, and I showed you this, um, Showed you this in January when I was uh, showing all the sa different salads, uh, but I look forward to eating this. I'm hungry today. I don't know why I'm so hungry, but I'm, sometimes I'm just hungrier than others, but today's one of those days. So I'm just going to put all of this in here and mix it together. the same thing tonight as I had last night, the John Souls food, chicken fajitas, and I'm going to literally, literally prepare it the exact same way that I did last night. I'm going to definitely use the rest of this bag of um, lettuce, and I forget that that lettuce goes as far as it does, so I always, when I buy these bags, really I only need to buy one bag of lettuce for two bags of chicken um but i always buy two bags of lettuce so anyway I'll, I'll i'll make sure i eat it i'll use it at some point but um this was such a good meal last night and it was so filling um so usually usually when i make this i make it um at least two nights in a row before i move on to something different Dinner, I'm going to be making this John Souls Foods. This is the steak fajitas, um, and you can eat the entire package for uh, 240 calories. That's it. So, normally I've just had these with the lettuce, just like I've showed you with the chicken, but tonight I'm going to try to turn them into like a Mexican style meal, and we'll see how it turns out. It might not be good. Uh, I bought two packages of these. If it's not good, I won't have it again tomorrow night, uh, but I'm going to add like half a pack of this taco seasoning to it. Um, I'm going to uh, use some uh, B uh, banana peppers, a green pepper, some onion, and I have this much of this lettuce le left, and I don't want to throw it away, so I'll probably use half of this tonight and half tomorrow, but um, first of all, I'm going to um, cut up my green pepper and onion, and then I'll be back. So I'm cooking my onion and pepper, and like I said, I'm, I'm going to cook it all tonight, but then I'm going to reserve, just keep out half of it, 
and I'll, I'll save the other half for tomorrow but i want to show you i opened up these steak fajitas this is all you get that's why it's not very many calories that's why i, I that's just literally a meal for one i cannot imagine buying this it says two servings i cannot ab imagine buying this and thinking you're going to feed two people with this because yeah if you mix it with something with a have it on a tortilla then yeah it might feed two people but still i mean look kevin it's just not a lot of meat oh, it's, not it's not a lot at all so i'm gonna end up adding this to the pan but i'm gonna go ahead and microwave it first so you cover it with a paper towel and microwave it probably for about a minute and a half so I heated my meat up and I'm gonna add this. I took uh, half of the onion and pepper out, or close to it, as close as I could get. And then I'm gonna add some of this taco seasoning mix um, and just hope that it's good. But I like a chili powder, or I like that kind of seasoning. So that's probably like um, two tablespoons. And then I'm going to add some of this banana pepper juice to it. Because you have to have some juice with that, uh, with that taco seasoning mix. And this might end up being really, 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 really hot. I don't know. Because <laughs> I am going to put some banana peppers on top. But now the banana peppers, uh, the banana peppers are not hot, I don't think. They're not hot banana peppers, they're just mild banana peppers. I have some of this paste picante sauce. And I like this stuff a lot too. probably look better on a plate but it's a lot easier to eat this stuff out of a bowl and that's why I put it in a bowl if you're wondering why and this is a very low calorie meal too so I did not do the calories on it so I don't know but like the lettuce is really low calorie the meat was low calorie these banana peppers are five calories for a fourth of a cup, which is crazy low. The paste picante sauce is 10 calories for two tablespoons, and I did not use many of those. Um, the uh, taco seasoning, um, the taco seasoning mix is only 15 calories for two tablespoons so yeah to me this is a very very low calorie meal and then of course you've got your onion and pepper and a whole pepper is only like 30 calories sorry the washing machine's going off and it's gonna do its little dance uh, but I only used half of that like I said and I'm gonna have the other half tomorrow so I did not do the calories on this but I'm getting a whole bowl of food and it's gonna be very little calories so I'll have to let you know if it tastes good so tonight for dinner I'm gonna have the John sauce food steak fajitas again uh, but I'm gonna have um, this is the uh, onions that you saw last night the onions and the peppers I'm gonna use the rest of those this time I'm gonna make them with eggs though because the taco seasoning this has some fajita seasoning in it plus I used taco seasoning plus I had banana peppers although they were mild banana peppers so that didn't affect anything but I also had some of that uh, paste picante sauce it was the taco seasoning that made it way too spicy so tonight I'm gonna make all this in eggs and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get it on the plate so here it is. I just cut some of the steak up into a, a few smaller pieces so that it was spread out throughout. Um, but that is my dinner tonight.
For lunch, I'm going to be having one of these Healthy Choice Simply Steamers Chicken Vegetable Stir Fry Meals. And I have already heated it up. And so you just want to carefully dump the vegetables into the juice. And it is very, 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 very hot. The steam is rolling off there. Because you can heat it for four to... Uh, four and a half minutes and I go four and a half. I like my food to be hot when it's you know when it's supposed to be hot I want it to be hot. So You just take this and stir it together And I did a whole video of these like um, of like frozen if you do a search on the channel like uh, frozen foods I've been enjoying um, I did a whole video of these and these long pieces. I just take them in and and uh, cut them in half with my fork. They're very tender, so they're not hard to cut at all. That way, um, I get a little bit of that chicken in every bite. And um, sometimes I add a little pepper. I might add a little pepper, just a little bit of pepper, and that's it. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to have this Healthy Choice Cafe Steamers. This is the spaghetti and meatballs. And your spaghetti and meatballs is here, and then you you dump it into the red sauce and then you just stir it together like this. And I really like the smell when I don't get it on my, when I don't get the boiling sauce on my wrist. Uh, but I really do like the flavor of the meatballs. I usually divide them into two or three pieces so that I get some uh, meatball in with my spaghetti in with each bite. Um, this meal is 280 calories and yes, I'm going to add some pepper. This is the grilled chicken marinara with Parmesan. Uh, I had it before and I really, really liked it. So it has all the red sauce in the bottom and you take it and you dump it out and I even scrape it off the bottom of here just to make sure I get all that I can and then mix it together tonight for dinner I'm gonna be eating this Lean Cuisine this is a favorites classic macaroni and beef I really do like this meal, but I will tell you the um, healthy choice meals are easier in that you just, you don't have to vent them or anything. Those, those steamer bowls or whatever they're called, you don't have to vent them. And you just literally stick them in the microwave for like four and a half minutes or something like that and they're ready. This one, I had to vent it, uh, cook it for, microwave it for three minutes peel it back stir it and then microwave it again for another two minutes so yeah it still is easy but it's not as easy as just literally the bowls you, you just stick in the microwave and you don't have to vent it or, or go through any of that uh, but i do like this meal and uh, so that's what i'm having for dinner tonight tonight for dinner i'm going to be having the healthy choice simply steamers meatball marinara it says it is meatballs with whole grain penne spinach in a parmesan marinara sauce and i've had this meal before and when i opened it like it uh, really shocked me because of all that spinach and i was like oh my gosh that's a lot of spinach i'm gonna hate this it's it's gonna be too strong i'm not gonna like it i couldn't even taste the spinach <laughs> Couldn't taste the spinach at all. So yeah, even though it's really green, now maybe I'll taste it this time. I don't know, but it was more like a, it was more like they put it in there as a filler or something. I'm trying to get all that red sauce off that I can because I like the red sauce. This is 280 calories, and we stir it together, and I will half all those uh, all those meatballs because I want them to, I want to have like a meatball in as many bites as I can. So, but we got a bunch, I think. One, two, three, four, five. I found at least five, maybe six. And I always put pepper. No matter what the meal is, I want some pepper.